Hello, this is Linda Carruthers, and uh, I thought I would come on and do a video of uh, Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge. Week 19 came on, and I found that I like doing challenges, and especially since I don't have a lot of the stuff that some of them require for. So, anyway, I, this is my version of her week 19. It is to do hand stitched um, booklets that can go in your journals. And her challenge is to see how many you can do in 45 minutes. Well, I was trying to do. And I didn't get even one done in 45 minutes. It took me about two and a half hours, and I got four of them done. So I thought I would show you what I did in two and a half hours. Now, I'll be honest with you, at first, um, I think I misunderstood what she was talking about doing. Um, my thing was I thought that she was just decorating uh, like a little flip thing and so that's what I did here I used some this is scrapbooking paper for the base and then on the inside I decorated it with some magazine art that come out of uh, like uh, uh, catalogs and things and uh, so that's what I was doing. Well, as she got along into it, I realized I was not doing it right. So I went back and watched it some more. And she was putting writing. It was handwriting. I didn't have any handwriting. So I used a book page from my handwriting page. And she was putting fabric in, which I put this piece of fabric in. And then uh, she decorated. So I decorated it with another uh, magazine or catalog ad. And I love this one. It says that um, a garden is a friend you can visit anytime. And I believe that. So this was my first one. I also um, had these little bags that you uh, put on there. Uh, and uh, it says Happy Mother's Day. And I got that out of a sales paper. Now, um... I did this because of the, uh, it says do some good and then there's some gardening stuff down there. Now, and these were taken out of ads, out of papers, uh, magazines, and stuff like that. Now, uh, what I did here with a Dictor scrap page, it's on the back here, scrapbook page, I folded a, about an inch or a half an inch over so it'd be my tab and then instead of sewing I stapled so that you had staples in there and I made stickers out of these little decor things um like I said, this is not exactly how she did it, but it was close to it as I could get. Um, I also took a punch. I only have two punches. I have a circle punch, and I have this corner punch. And I use this corner punch to decorate the end of the page. Now, uh, to me, I. I look at this like it's a flip, 
but it also can be used in a journal and you can write on the back and I used these scrapbook pages came out of this scrapbook uh, let me get it down when you see it uh, canvas canvas Conversator. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it is, there's 50 sheets that come in this pack. It's 12 by 12. And um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. Let me put it where you can see it. There it is. And it has a lot of black in it. Um, the back pages and the other pages. So I use this one or these to practice on. And so this was the first one. And this one took me, well, with all the getting the stuff and everything, it took me about probably about an hour. To to, uh, to an hour and a half to get done. Now, this one was the second one. This has a rose on the back. So I tried to do some pink to bring out the pink out of this one. Uh, this was done with the lines are, you can see the lines right there. Then I put a piece of book page right there. And then I took, this is a piece that come out of a magazine that showed bed skirts and bed sheets and bed comforters. And so this is actually a comforter. Uh, although I, uh, Put it down, it's got floral, it's got pink and yellow and orange flowers in it. So I use that. Then I did another, when I realized that it was a, uh, like a journal page, supposed to be pages, more than one. I put uh, another book page down and she had some fabric, so I put a piece of lace, and I did another uh, piece that come out of a magazine. It says, Welcome, and it has florals on it, and then this is another um, page, book page, and I wanted to kind of make it look old. Um, I do not have the ink that y'all do, and, and that some of y'all do, and so I use my markers, and these are my markers that I use, you can get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I use my brown one, and uh, what I did here was I made my border around the sheet, and I took my um, color. Oh, I'll just use this orange one. But anyway, I took the color. And what I did was I just shaved it a little bit. Or whatever you call it. Across there. Then I uh, took a baby wipe. And I just smeared across it like that. And I, I did that. And then I wrinkled, this one I wrinkled up. And then straightened it out so that it looks like it's old. You know, it's an old page. Okay, this is another bed linen ad. 
and it's in purple and pink and there's some yellow and a little orange this is a piece of fabric that uh, is has the uh, mesh and then it has these little white flowers and it gives it tones down this white on this paper so i wanted something to tone it down so i put that on there as a cover it and i think it did a good job now up here at the top i've been over the flip right there i put a piece of paper page right there i also took and uh did like I did on this page here, like this. Then I put a piece of scrap lace on top of it. I got this little um, butterfly uh, decor right here from Debbie Ramsey of Notions of Beauty. It came in her little thank you package. Um, and so did this little boat. So I put this little, I staple these on, and then I put this little bow over the center of that one. So that was number two. Now, this is number three. Now, this, by the time I got here, I realized that the I was putting the lines on the inside. So I said, well, what if I put them on the back for you to write on and put this on the inside? So that's what I did starting with number three. It's the inside. The uh, floral is on the inside. The lines are on the outside so you can journal and stuff. Okay. Now I put a piece of the page. Book page right there. I put a lace. On top of the book page and then I had this very little tiny long scrap of this green and that's what I stapled on there so that's all stapled on but now here on these pages I didn't glue anything down to that but I did make these pages and this is a book page and um I took it and I put the brown on it. This is a piece of fabric. It's uh, blue and green. And then I put this piece of lace on there on the bottom and glued it on there. Then I did another page, but now these pages are not the same size. They're different sizes. And I put the brown frame around it and I did the brown here. I put a piece of green fabric and then I put another little bitty scrap of this blue and green there. I glued them down. Now, on this third little page, it's a really small one. And I did the same thing. I put the marker around there and then raked it across, wiped it down with the, the, um, baby wipe. Now put a piece of fabric right here and this is another piece of this ad right here. And so I put it down there. Then to kind of give that an old look I uh, enforced the uh, lines right here, the framing of it with some more of the brown. I took my wipe and I just wiped it down so that it kind of looked like it's old. And then I stapled them all together. Okay. And that's number three. Now this is number four. And again, I, uh, actually this was number four and this is number three. Because I did put the page down. I glued it down. I put this bed linen. 
that I got out of a, a magazine. It's not cloth, it's paper. And I put it down. And I wipe this like, let's see if I can show you. Alright, like so. Alright, then I put this one down. There's another piece of that bed linen. And I put this piece of fabric this time on top. And then here's the third one. It's a book page. Uh, there's a piece of lace down here. Actually, there's the paper right there. Then there's a piece of lace. And then there's this fabric. Now, on the top here, I put, there's a piece of book page right there. Then there's this piece of fabric right there. Then there's a piece of lace on top. That's the white lace. And then there's this piece of fabric with writing on it right there. And then I staple that down. And so this is my fourth one. But I recommend if you're interested in doing these, you can have these, uh, put these in your journals. Um, you can use them as tags, you can use them as flips, you can uh, use them as pages, which is what she was doing. Like she had like four of them and then you stick them in a journal and flip them like so. And you can use them for journaling on the back and stuff like that. But I, I recommend you go to Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge and watch her um, video tutorial on uh, week 19 and see how she did it because you can use the staples you can use glue you can use sewing and sew things down and she can explain it a lot better than i did but this is just my my attempt to do her weekly challenge for i mean 19 and uh, if you're interested, I'd check her out. I'll leave her link below for 19. And uh, you can check it out through there. I uh, appreciate it if you like and comment and submit to my channel. And you have a good day, a blessed day. And uh, God bless you for watching my, my video. Thank you. Bye-bye.